A young Baldwin boy is on the road to recovery after surgery to remove a brain tumor. As you'll learn in tonight's Making a Difference report, he's had a lot of people in his corner, including doctors, nurses, and the first baseman for the St. Louis Cardinals. Ten, Not all heroes at Bush Stadium wear a Cardinals uniform. On this day, seven-year-old Henry Nix and his family have arrived early for a chance to meet his favorite home run hitter. We're just really grateful to be here for this opportunity and we can't wait to meet him. But if the fans knew what he'd been through, it would be Henry getting a curtain call. Hi. According to his parents, Ooh, special dice block. Henry can be both charming and stubborn. Not the Cardinals one. We saw the charming Henry. Do you see that one with the jersey? He's way back here. Oh, with the Cardinals jersey? Oh, yeah, there he is. He's Darth Vader. Oh, <laughs> it is Darth Vader. He was recently diagnosed with autism. Okay, this one's for real. You ready? But then last March, things got frightening. He started having seizures at night. After a battery of tests, Henry was rushed to St. Louis Children's Hospital where the doctor delivered devastating news. He said they found a mass in his brain and they need to operate and we're wondering if our, we're gonna get our little boy back. The 14 hour surgery to remove a brain tumor was a success. And then Henry discovered the healing power of kindness. Hi. Robo Paul stopped in for a visit. Hi, what's going on? Nice hat. Thanks. Because of COVID, Cardinal Slugger Paul Goldschmidt teamed up with Children's Hospital to visit patients via an iPad on top of a robot. And he and Henry hit it off. It was a nice visit and it definitely cheered him up. I want to Henry go. even asked his new friend if he would hit a home run for him. No promises, of course, but then he hit one that night. Did you rub his jersey for good luck? About three weeks later, Robo Paul was back to check in on Henry. And Henry asked for another home run. Again, no promises. But players, as Goldie hits one a ton, he kissed it goodbye. At the wall, gone! Now Henry's road to recovery has led him out of the hospital here to Bush, where the Cardinals invited him to meet not Robo Paul, but the actual Paul Goldschmidt in person. What's up, guys? How are you? It's just great to get to meet him in person. Just happy. You know, his health has been improving, and uh, to be able to put a smile on his face and his family's face is something I don't take lightly and just, you know, happy for the opportunity. Henry even got the honor that day of throwing out the ceremonial first pitch. It'll be a memorable experience for his whole life. Henry will still need to make regular visits to children's for checkups, but for now he's given that tumor the punch out and is hoping to see some home runs in person. I told him if he wants a home run, he's gonna have to bring me some good luck. And so credit goes to him more than me. And uh, you know, hopefully there'll be more to come. I love those home runs you did. Oh, thank you, me too. A baseball hero lifting a young boy and the other way around. Hi, Michael. Hi, We're just so grateful for everyone and, and everything. And by the way, when Henry finally came home from the hospital, friends, neighbors, and even some strangers held a welcome home parade in front of his house, and there were more than 50 cars in that parade. A reminder, if you know an inspiring story or someone making a difference, let me know by email at mbush at ksdk.com.